Ocean pollution is a serious topic that needs to be addressed to ensure the survival of our aquatic ecosystem. Alien species, species that don't belong in their current home, are very dangerous to native life. Invasive species usually consume the energy that other species need to survive, weakening the natives and strengthening the attackers. Gasm seaweed is no exception. This algae is healthy in small amounts, but has now reproduced so much that it is harmful. Sargassum seaweed originated from the Sargasso Sea around the Bermuda Triangle in the Atlantic Ocean. Due to changing temperatures and different currents, it has made its way to more areas than have been reported previously. This has affected tourism in many places due to the smell and mass amounts of the seaweed piling up on the shore. Many animals have also been affected, such as sea turtles, mollusks, and fish. Small animals get caught in the seaweed, causing suffocation or starvation. Why has there been such an increase in sargassum seaweed? El Nino currents and the rising sea temperatures have contributed to the growth. These weather patterns, most likely caused by an excess level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, provide the needed oxygen and nitrogen for the seaweed to grow. Some people speculate that the enzymes used to clean oil spills also contribute to sargassum growth. Either way, humans are a likely factor. If the problem is so bad, why isn't it making the news? The only time you hear about it is when resorts are complaining about the stench and beach buildup. But the problem is about much more than tourism. This seaweed is destroying our ecosystem. We need to stop it before it's too late. How can we do this safely without harming the ocean and the life it supports? We need to do something, but how can we help? How can we clean something up that reproduces uncontrollably and in such monstrous amounts? There are some things we can do. We can organize cleanup efforts so that the seaweed will be gone. To get rid of it, we can use it as compost, food, or biofuel. We can make sure people know about this problem because resorts and tourism countries don't want you to know about it. We can reduce our nitrogen and phosphate waste because these chemicals produce the environments that cause the seaweed to thrive. By working together, we can stop this seaweed and clean our polluted waters. Together, we can save our oceans.